All right, so this is part two of week five. There was just so much going on. So we're picking up at the midpoint of 66 and heading to Roswell to see the aliens. And then they, another new sticker. Yeah, the Oliver Lee State Park. So here was our first stop. This is the Red Barn RV Park. Lee, who runs this place, does a phenomenal job. And it's a beautiful little park, only 12 spots, backed up against an alfalfa field, real close to downtown Roswell. Couldn't be more convenient. Yep, close to the Wolf Bowl Dog Park. Always got to check out the dog park. We were so confused by this sign. Do not open this gate. How do you get in? Fine print. And then, of course, you have to go to the UFO Museum. Here's Sue with a couple yeah. of buds. And it's it's kitschy. It's, and it's kitschy campy. and campy, which is exactly what you want to see in your UFO alien museum. And there were plenty of people there, too. There were. But <laughs> you, we saw a couple of uh, exhibits about, what was the movie? Oh, um, the, 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 UFO, the incident? UFO incident from 1975, about which we ended couple. up watching that night. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very good movie. Yeah. I love the Bigfoot with the smoke rings. <laughs> and you also, you gotta love the alien face structure. Like, check this one out. Ooh. That's a pretty alien. <laughs> That's a scary alien. I do love those glasses. I wish I could get them in prescription. <laughs> and I got to go to the um, Roswell Museum and saw some Maria Martinez pottery and some Georgia O'Keeffe paintings, and this just really special little wooden sculpture of St. Francis of Assisi, which I'm absolutely in love with. Yeah, it's so sweet. So uh, there was the sunset of our last night, the sunrise of our last morning at the Red Barn Park, and that morning we also had ice drips, so we're really struggling with this 72 thing. Yeah, we had to put the wool blanket back on the bed. But then we're heading out for the rest of our trip, and guys, our country is absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, and we just drove for miles and miles, I think, you know, miles and miles, almost an hour at a time, it seemed like, without an intersecting road. Yeah. Just wide open spaces everywhere. And then you get to a giant pistachio. <laughs> because that's America, <laughs> right there, in a nutshell. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Write that down, that was good. <laughs> and this is where we're staying now, which is Oliver Lee State Park in uh, Alamogordo, New Mexico. Yep, and, and it's terraced into the mountain. Yeah, and unfortunately the pictures just don't do this justice. The scale of this is so immense. And it's covered with prickly pear, and which Ollie's we're so happy. trying to keep Ollie away from. But he's happy anyway. But look at this, right outside the camper. That, and that mountain is like 3,000 feet above where we are. It's just so gorgeous. It's it's breathtaking. Yeah. And we had a little uh, hitchhiker. <laughs> Came from Roswell. <laughs> hitchhiker, that's beautiful. I think the sunset just... Yeah, it's just spectacular scenery. And we're facing White Sands National Park there where we'll be going tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have some more updates on that next time, but this is the view from where we settled in the night that we got here, and we'll see you next time from places uh, as yet unknown. Have fun. <laughs>